I'm here at the Carl T. Johnson Hunting and Fishing Center celebrating its 25th birthday. Starting back in 1992, the Carl T. Johnson has only grown over the years. Offering new activities and features, many were shown during the anniversary event. The Johnson family visited the anniversary event and say that they're proud that the center has continued through these years. I know the family and the community um, have embraced this facility for many years and we're all very grateful and we hope that it continues because they do have a lot of excellent programs that the school system, the education system has been able to enjoy as well as family have been able to come here and enjoy this facility so we hope that it continues. With all the programs they offer it's important that the staff and the park has been there to help them every step of the way. Really this, this place would not function or, or um be around if it wasn't for our friends group and uh, the recreation passport and the staff that helps come over here, maintain the building, supports the building and raises money for those types of programs. So really it's due to our friends group and the uh, Mitchell State Park staff that support us and back us up on all the programs. And without all of the workers and my staff, it wouldn't happen. But the most important part is that the community has been backing them the entire way public, the public and the people I work with. It's really a joy. We have a really uh, diverse and competent staff and we all get along well together. So uh, between, you know, just working with the, with the staff, uh, Ed's a good, uh, really good uh, boss, if you will, and uh, the public. Th that's the main thing is the public. The Carl T. Johnson Hunting and Fishing Center has become a staple mark in the community and they're planning on celebrating 25 more years moving forward. With My News 26, I'm Wyatt Van Dyne and now back to you.